I am so jacked up about this interview. I'm so excited because this next organization is going to be helping out a lot of kids in need. Uh, Michelle Benedict, the development manager for USANA Kids Eat. I think it's appropriate if we start. I, I'm blown, by, blown away by the building, and I know you're going to talk about that, but can you educate us about what USANA Kids Eat is all about? Okay, so USANA is a health, and, a health and nutritional company. It's a worldwide company. And about eight years, they created a foundation. The USANA Foundation takes care of kids all over the world. It's the, the nonprofit arm of, of USANA. And in this past year, they have acquired a couple of groups, and we've started the USANA Kids Eat program which feeds kids all over the valley. These are kids that are usually at risk for hunger at home. Um, most of them rely on the school lunch programs, and, um, and then in their homes, they, they just don't have very much food. And so we've got a program where we feed them on the weekends. We pass out about 850 backpacks for the weekends. And that's during normal times. As you know, things aren't normal times mm -hmm. right now. And so um, we're also doing these larger pantry bags that we're passing out to kids um, to kind of get them through. Some of them aren't making it over to the schools during the programs that they're offering. The, the districts are doing so well yeah. offering these programs and trying to keep them going and things. But some of the kids just aren't getting there. And So, so how, how do you keep up with the demand and the need of hungry children in Utah? Well, we've got a lot of really amazing donors, and we're always looking for more donors, especially corporate um, sponsorships. We have a lot of corporations that will adopt a school, and they'll get involved in that way. They'll get their employees involved in packing bags. Uh, it's just a great way to kind of add to your corporate culture and, and get involved in the community in a way that is, is pretty easy. We have the framework all set up, and so it's an easy way to make a really big impact. So we've moved back here where you have some volunteers. I imagine with the social distancing you had to cut down on but but now we're in the building. Tell me about the building and what is going on back here. This is where the magic is happening. Yeah, yeah, this is so fun. Our building was just opened in December, so it's brand new. We had Dr. Oz out for the opening and it was fantastic. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. It was great and we've been working really hard and really busy ever since, but with this new social distancing, we've cut down our volunteers to very small groups and we have a lot of protocol that they have to go through and we keep them really spaced apart as they pack. But we're still able to keep up with the packing. We've been able to keep our bags going and, <laughs> and out the door. And <laughs> I see one potential problem. What? Whoever's at the front, if they're slow, nobody behind them moves, right? Because yeah, we're trying to keep this. So, come slow. on, John, That's come on, right. let's go. So <laughs> yeah, how, can we, how can we help you help the hungry kids of Utah? You know, this is, this is your call to action yeah. for the public, and I know you have a challenge. We do have a challenge. Originally, we were hoping to increase our number for from 850 a weekend to 1,000 per weekend. We have a lot of schools that want our services, so we easily can do that, but we just need the community to get involved. And right now, with social distancing, the best way to do that is donations. Just on our website, um, monetary donations are great because then we can order the food and we can get the bags packed. So the challenge is go to the website and donate. And donate, absolutely, and help us increase that number to 1,000 and, and to help us with the corona bag relief that we're doing too, which yeah. is just what, a whole new project. What's the website? It's uh, kid, you saw the kids eat .org. <laughs> She's new, guys. Give her a break. It's all going to be old news. Once she gets the wheels greased, she's going to be moving like lightning. Thank you so much. On behalf of our viewers and us, we just want to say thank you for leading the charge, even in this tough time. It, it does my heart good to know that there's still people helping those in need. So thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, we'll put a link on the website to make it super easy. Just go to fox13now.com and click on the place.